Hello everybody, it's Michelle from OnlineWithMichelle.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook group um, using your PC. I'm also going to do one using your phone if you mostly are on your phone as well. Um, so I'll include a link to that either above or below this video. Um, and uh, so the power of Facebook groups, you guys, is so powerful. That has been a gold mine for our team because um, it just allows you to cultivate deeper relationships with your leads. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open Chrome and I'm going to go to Facebook. So make sure you're logged into Facebook. So you have to have a personal, you know, a personal profile, of course. So when I logged in, by default, it's going to take me to my news feed. So you can either click on the little down arrow here and it says create a group. Or here on the left hand side, you can where it says create group down here. Um, just click on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and it says create a group. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to name your group. So, um, you know, this will be my um, Michelle's test group. Okay. So that's the name of my group and you need to add at least one person. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add Jenny to mine because she's one of my awesome business partners. And so I'm just go ahead and add her. I wouldn't be adding people yet because you want to be, you want to put some awesome content in there for when you do start adding people to it, right? Um, okay, so here's the thing is if you by default is a closed group, if you want it to be where anybody can see your posts and the members, then you want to make it a public group. Okay, a closed group means that they can only people that find your group can um, only see who the members are but they cannot see the content and then a secret group is only members can see who the members are and the content so a secret group means that nobody can find it unless they're given the direct link okay so um, I'm gonna leave it at close for now and also make sure you pin it to your shortcuts because if you do then it'll be over here where your shortcuts are it'll be easier for you to find it unless you can remember the name which mine is Michelle's test group <laughs> alright so I'm gonna pin the shortcuts okay but I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that for now because I'm not really gonna be creating this because this is just a test group alright so I'm gonna hit create and then you get to choose an icon so let's just really quickly choose I'm gonna choose a basketball <laughs> And I'm going to hit OK. All right, guys. Now your group is created. Okay. Now the first thing I want you to do is um, if you don't upload a photo, then it's just going to show the small pictures of all the members as you're adding them. Okay. So go ahead and just leave. That'll be last. Okay. Because the first thing you need to do is you need to go down here where it says description. All right, and what you want to do is you click add description and you want to say this is where you share information about the group. Okay, so you share information about the group. And then here you can also say, um, you know, you can also put a link. So if you um, if you have like a free giveaway or if you have um, a website that you want to send people to for more information, this is a place to do it. So um, click here for my free um, checklist okay and then um, I'll have HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then your website okay and then you're gonna hit save and every time you update the description like if I refresh this every time I update it it's gonna show up here guys okay so um, so just be mindful of that. But what's cool is you can update the description and it will show up on the newsfeed. And um, I believe that everybody that is agreeing to get notifications from your group will see it. So you want to be careful about not posting too much because then people will shut off notifications because by default, when people are in a group, when they're added to a group, they're going to see all the posts. Um, so um, yeah, actually, gosh, I need to find out. I don't know if the people that you're adding are going to see all the posts or just the highlights. I think they're going to see all the posts by default. I'll have to check on that now. So, um, but just be mindful of that. So we're typically adding one to two times a day in our group and uh, you just don't want to bombard them where people will shut off the notifications because then they'll never see your stuff, right? So um, next is if you want people to find you, you can add now up to five tags. So right up to five tags. 
this is typically interest, like people that have an interest in network marketing. Okay, so network marketing. All right, you can. It will. It will give you all these different choices. I'm going to choose the one that has 88,000 members. Let's say. A, a, let's say this is a knitting group. <laughs> all right, I'm going to add knitting. That way, people will find, be more apt to find you when they do a search for groups. Okay, so make sure you add that and then hit save. All right, now guys, this is this is where it gets really cool. Up here, it gives you a URL and it's a number. Okay. What I want to do is I want to show you how to change that to a customized domain, okay? So over here where these three dots are, you're going to click on that, and then you're going to click on Edit Group Settings. So click on Edit Group Settings, and here you can choose, pick a group type if you'd like. This is kind of a new feature, okay? So we're going to name it a club, all right? And then um, you can change the privacy settings here, where right now it's closed. You can make it secret or public. And here, um, you can decide if you want any member can add or approve. I always would like, I would like for, I have my settings so that anybody can add them, but then I have to, oh, sorry, any members can add members, but an admin must approve them. So make sure you check mark that. Now, customize your address. This is so cool, you guys. So click customize address. And I typically like to name it the same thing that I named my group. Right, so Michelle's test group, and what it's doing is it's going to give me my own unique link, and it's also going to say that you can create an email, but I don't use that. Okay, so click customize address. All right, Michelle's test group is not available, so Michelle Grigsby's test group. So I'm just renaming it, click customize address. There it is. I've just done that, but I have to save it. Posting permission, so we've already added the description, the tags, posting permissions, members, moderators, and admins can post to the group. So um, if you want it to where only admins can post to the group, then check mark it, okay? Um, or you can say that members can post, but that you must approve it. So that's how I typically have mine, okay? And guys, that's it, save. And look up here. I'm going to now refresh it. And it's going to change the link name. Michelle's test group. And look, guys, it's now named facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Michelle Grigsby's test group. And so you can take that domain and you can share that. And um, it's just more, it just looks better whenever you've got a custom name. All right. And plus it'll help you remember. <laughs> All right, guys, that's how you create a group. And as you can see, every time I've done something, it shows on the newsfeed. That's why you don't want to be adding people yet. All right, so, um, and I think you can go in and delete it. And if I delete it, then it will at least remove that. So if people scroll down and see it, they won't see it. All right, um, but you don't want to delete the description. So. It just looks cleaner, um, but I've deleted this before and it deleted the whole description, so don't do that. So let me hit refresh, make sure that the tags are still in there. Yeah, okay. So now, guys, it's time to start adding awesome content, and that's how you create a group, you guys. And then in order to upload a video, um, upload a um, image for your group, um, all you do guys is click upload photo and make sure that the size of it is the same as this and it's a little bit smaller than your Facebook header, okay? But just make sure that it's not a square image, it's a rectangle. Um, this is 851 by 315, um, but don't worry about that, don't let that hold you back, just don't add anything until you know, I'll do a separate training on how to add, you know, how to upload a photo for your Facebook group. But really, the most thing, the most important thing is to get the basics set up and then um, start inviting members to it. So, um, all right, guys, hope you got value. We'll chat with you later. See ya.